All right, so we have, we're doing prediction readings for, now we're on cancer, okay. Now we're on cancer, prediction readings. Let's see what's coming in, cancer. Woo, surprises. Okay, so how do we get this happy surprises? Well, we have to move our energy in that way. Okay, so you've got your potential for sudden change, enlightenment and awakening in August. Woo, I like that. I feel like Zeus energy. Okay, so I feel like you're going to feel real frisky. Okay, now, uh, I feel like you're going to be connecting with a Scorpio or a Taurus energy. Woo! Okay. All right, so that came out. Okay, so now Venus... Venus is in Leo, so you could be harnessing that energy, feeling confident and sure about yourself. Now, if you have a business and you have employees and they want to um, give you uh, suggestions because they're there every day or whatever, what you want to do is be um, open to constructive criticism without feeling like... Um, offended by anything, right? Okay, so that's what I'm getting. It's like letting uh, whatever is said pass through without involving your emotion to it, right, when it comes to work stuff. And then, uh, as you have a subjective, objective, oh, objective view, uh, then uh, that makes creates a lot of space for big changes big paradigm shifts okay now now there may be some uh shocking entrance here of this lover okay all right okay so i'm getting like damage control <laughs> All right, so if you felt like you were notorious, right, um, that may flip to a more positive note like, um, well, that's okay, right? Um, um, I got that song, N -n Notorious. Okay, so, but what I'm getting is, uh, what is that, Duran Duran? Okay, so you might be connecting with someone who came up when that time was uh, popular, or they might even like that band. Okay. Okay. Anyway, what I'm getting is there's going to be a resurgent here. It's like you could be doing your thing, right? Doing your work, blah, blah, blah. And then bam, this comes in and you're going to, you might feel like, well, where did these emotions come from out of nowhere? Okay. And then you rem reminisce the time of some past life thing or a past thing and uh, remember uh, them as maybe uh, Aphrodite or something like that. Okay. Or Zeus, since we got Zeus. Okay, Zeus and Aphrodite. Woo! That's a steamy combination. Okay, so, okay, so this is coming up. Okay, so Leo, Venus retrograde, right? And Leo right now. So maybe that's a cusping energy. Okay. So I feel like that's the direction, though. So you may be uh, reconnecting with a past lover. Okay, so the thing you want to watch out for is that Pluto retrograde energy. So the temptation may, might just be, let me connect just physically, right? That's what I'm getting, and not invest. Okay, and I feel like there could be some problems with that. Now for some of you, this is saying... Uh, you can climb any mountain with this person. Okay. So you may have seen them as materialistic and maybe just looking at you as a bank account. Okay. Now that could be subconscious. It may not even be true, but uh, maybe some element of it is true. Now let's see. See, that's what I was saying. Subconscious your unconscious sensitive inner emotions and responses. So that could be something that was hidden that you pushed down. Okay, that could have been just a, a feeling. Okay, but see, look, this is balanced energy. Okay, this is uh, finding the silver lining in the shadow and then uh, moon and then uh, moving in that. Uh, so 
if it's a water sign, it's like two suns here, okay? All right, so they could have harnessed this Aquarius energy, and I feel like that's, that's new innovations in technology in August. Okay, so the temptation is just to be free and only connect on a physical level here. But I feel like uh, you would be more satisfied if you could pencil in uh, some time with uh, deeper connections. I feel like that would bring you more satisfaction. I feel like you're going to have more energy in August to do all kinds of things. And perhaps that's because... Um, I almost said the weather, but I think I feel like it's gonna still be warm in uh, August. Okay, but anyway, um, it's gonna feel like you have more energy. Okay, so if you're in Aries energy to your boss and you're harnessing that Aries energy, if something didn't go out that great with a past lover then you could feel like in August that you want to heal because that's that Chiron retrograde and Aries coming in. Okay, so I feel like that's at the end of August. At any rate, if you feel like that, um, take a look at that and see how you can move that because that's your chance to heal, right, and learn. If we can assimilate our experiences, no matter how hard they have been, into the now, that's how you can really put that in your toolbox, wisdom toolbox, and keep moving. Okay, But if you never heal it, never resolve it, and just keep moving it, that energy stays there. So it's calling, if that comes, you want to take a look at it and not bury yourself in work. Yeah. Yeah. Because, bam, if you don't take care of that, if, when that emerges at the end of August, you you might feel out of balance a little bit. So you want to balance that out. That's what your soul would be calling for in this energy. Okay? All right. Now, uh, hmm. This is interesting. There's a Libra who was with an Aquarius. There was a Libra who was with an Aquarius, and they were going through some sort of entanglement, karmic, uh, karmic thing here. Have you asked them out on a date? Now, for some of you, this is a, a Taurus or a Scorpio, and they'll either talk about um, a Leo or uh, an Aquarius or Aries or a Libra. Okay. Now, Saturn retrograde is in Pisces. For some of you, this is saying... Um, if you two come together to balance it out, right, then you don't want to get your pinchers out. Just look into each other's eyes and really remember when you first met. I feel like that intensity will uh, help ease whatever all that funkiness was, okay? And you'll be able to organize it. Yeah, that's that Mercury uh, in Virgo wanting to communicate and organize some of the funky stuff that came out of your mouths to each other and bring harmony to it, okay, and heal it. Okay, now for some of you, this is saying your Pisces was in that pinchy Scorpio energy and was trying to get you, and they went in their polar opposite energy to bring in healing to become more stable and earth-like, right? Earthy. And um, also this is saying it's possible that you can heal this in this earth realm. Because if you're talking about two water signs, right? It could feel real dreamy, right? Until certain things set in and then it's like 
you know what it's like it's two water signs in neptune energy in that dreamy like seeing each other from dream world neptune dream world and then in the reality of things starting to see things about each other and then uh kind of going into uh blaming each other energy <laughs> these cards are so funny i don't, i do not know how they do that but see that's the challenge is to raise the energy you have the ability to transform any connection so take a big leap forward in this positive light and you will see the new potential the transformation for some of you this is um, marriage next level relationship in August I leave you with that